What's going on guys, this is Mr. Best Kept Secret here and I'm coming at you with a new kind of series slash not really on my channel, just something I wanted to do and it's called Mini Game Monday. So I'll be taking games that I have on my laptop already and also suggestions from you guys in the comment section down below which games that you want me to play. But the first one I'm going to start with is a game that I like to call Game Dev Tycoon which I downloaded off the internet from Greenheart Games. If you want, check it out in the comment section, or sorry, in the description, I'll leave a link for the game. Uh, there is a demo version that runs for free, but I did buy the full version. Alright, so here, you get a welcome, Game Dev Tycoon, and the business, business stipulation, and you get a 35 years, and uh, there's a timer up in the right-hand corner, in which you get to develop your own gaming company, pretty much. Which I think is pretty cool, so, and before you can start your adventure, we have to give your company a name. So, company a name, I think we're going to name it Best Gaming. There we go, Best Gaming, and player, obviously Mr. I'm going to still call him Best Kept Secret, we're going to go BKS. Perfect. Get to choose what your guy wears. Uh, let's go with the classic sweater vest. How about that? Alright, so the tutorial. If you ever want help, okay. Congratulations, you started your very own game development company. Your office is in a garage, and you are the only employee. So the game basically starts out when there was the PC and the G64. We're going to start developing a game. Uh, to decide what game I want to create and it says Astro up there it's because I was playing a last save file and uh, I forgot I had to update it so you know what we're gonna we're gonna call it Astro again and I believe it was a oh no these are new topics okay so let's go dungeon and we'll, we'll give it a new name after and pick genre let's go uh, dungeon adventure and let's call it let's call it Shining Knight. Why not, right? Then we'll uh Hmm. I think we're gonna go with the PC because it's a lot less to cost to develop, and we'll go with the 2D graphics. Right there we go, Shining Knight. Alright, so game development runs through three stages. And at the beginning of each stage, you can decide on what areas of the game you want to focus on. So picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Alright, and then there's a brief description of each of them in the health menu, help menu. So I'll go gameplay, story and quests. And the engine, since we are on a PC, and the engine I don't think matters a lot in early game. So I think, uh... Let's give it a little bit more. There we go. I think that looks... Perfect. All right, so here we go, guys. All right, so guys, if you want me to play any other games, you can uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And the, here's a tutorial message. While developing your game, you'll generate little game points, which keep bubbling up, but there's also bug points. And yeah, it's all displayed at the top of the screen there. All right, so we're playing this game, and also, if you guys want me to play any other types of games for Mini Game Monday, let me know in the comment section down below. And also, if you like this series, you know, give it a like, thumbs up, and tell me if you like it or not. So I think we'll go level design. Since there is some sort of graphic, we'll give some dialogue and then artificial intelligence. I think that sounds pretty good. Alright, also if there's any like critiques or any sort of things that I'm not doing well in the game, let me know and then I can easily improve them. And yeah, guys, so yeah, just let me know in the comment section down below. And if you do like this, like the video. Alright, so here's another tutorial message. During development, you can also select any additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases it in cost. You will also see graphic types selected when you read when you defined the game. So it's just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. All right, so we're going to go 2D graphics and then basic sounds. And I think since we have basic sounds, the sound doesn't need to be as much. But I think we're going to up the graphic and up the world design. There we go. And I wonder what kind of car this is. It kind of looks like a, a DeLorean from Back to the Future or something like that. And there's a Pong poster. Tutorial. The development of your first game is now complete. You cannot press the finish button, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of your bugs. Re releasing the game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings. Alright, so we're going to wait for all the bugs to be gone. See, we are in a garage. That's what it said at the beginning. Alright, so our bugs are completely gone, and we're going to release our game. Development of game is now finished. Game experience. Alright, bam. Shining Knight is ready. Alright, so let's see how we did. Alright, so was that, I think that's okay for the first game. Hand it off to publishing. Ah, sounds good. So this is a little Pong type thing right there, and I think we're... Okay, so development game, game history, research. What's in this research tab? 
new options to make better games. Try to develop games of different topic and genre combinations. You know, let's uh, pick a topic. We'll, should we go sci-fi, movies, government, cyberpunk? I've never heard of a cyberpunk video game. I think we're going to go sci-fi. Let's start researching some sci-fi video games, some Vigimo games. Alright, so the first reviews of our newly released game, Shining Night. Oh god, this doesn't look good. Oh man, that's bad, that was disappointing. Falls a bit short. It is our first game. Oh man, that's not good. Let's have a high score. Oh, that, that kind of sucks. But you know, whatever. Analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are usually a great way to gain research points. Okay. To generate a game report, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to rig up the action menu. Alright. Moderate response from reviewers. I think, uh, although we sold over a thousand copies, that's pretty good, I think. I think that's pretty good. Make some money. <clears throat> All right, so receive games from income every week, and we just finished researching sci-fi. Generate a game report. Let's, let's do that. All right, so we're still receiving money from Shining Knight, our new game, and yeah. So yeah, definitely let me know if I, what I can improve in the comment section down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Post-release analysis Shining Knight got the results. Dungeon Adventure is an okay combination. And our, our AI does not seem to be important. And the platform genre match is great. Okay, so I'll fix the AI in the next, if I make another Dungeon Adventure game. Alright. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points, new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game that you release. First game. Let's look at the research menu. All right, well, I already did that. And you know what? We're going to develop a third game for this episode. All right, so you know what? We're going to develop a detective action game. Famous detective is Sherlock Holmes. Um, Dick Tracy was a good one on TV. Um, let's call it Sherlock Tracy. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. You know what? I think I still I still want to go with PC. I still want to go with PC. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna switch it to a detective adventure because you already know that there's a adventure bonus for that. So I think that we're going to be getting a solid bonus from it. So we're going to start development of our new game. There we go. So Sherlock Tracy. Alright, so story quest. We're going to have to have that. Gameplay. I would have that up as well. Now I think that looks pretty good. And I think I remember it being that it was artificial intelligence. That doesn't need a lot. Alright, so according to Ninvento. Okay, so that's a, uh, that's a hack of Nintendo. Alright, Dinky King. Alright, so Donkey Kong. Alright. Alright, many experts doubt the home gaming consoles to take off, but Ninvento will be excited to see what they deliver. Alright. We start to gain insights. Oh, God, charge your computer again. Generating game reports, you start to gain insights on the development process and learn what works well and what doesn't work well. Alright. Hints range to plus plus and minus minus. Indicate how important an area of it is. Alright. Okay, so that's different, definitely different from the update. So artificial intelligence, you don't need any of that. So level design and dialogues. Uh, actually, I'll put a little bit. There we go. I think that looks good. <clears throat> Hopefully, we're going to be uh, having a good game that we put out. Taxis off the market sold 8,835 units and generated 61,866 in sales. That's not too bad. I think that's pretty good. Alright, so we're still developing our game Sherlock Tracy, the detective adventure game. Alright, so I think that's good. I think I'll still leave that. Alright, so we're slowly developing this game. Alright, so our design part is up, but we still gotta let the bugs go down. Hopefully uh, it doesn't take too long to release this game. One, zero, added the technology, added two more design. 
Alright, let's finish. Oh, added another design. Alright, so today, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called the TESS, which is the Nintendo NES, originally. Console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Alright, so now we can possibly have something to develop new games on. Alright, so we developed a new record, we leveled up a bunch of stuff, and let's release it! Alright, so you know what guys, we released our game, and after the game reviews of our game, we're definitely going to be ending the video off there. Oh, here we go, let's see some good reviews. Alright, so an 8, that's very good. Uh, 7, that's also very good. Oh wow, that, there's a lot of 10s that popped up there. An 8, that's very good. And a 9, wow! Wow, that's very good ratings for our, our third game, I think, that we developed. It's very good. And you know what, guys? We're going to end it off there as we see Sherlock Tracy going up for sale. And you know what, guys? This has been Mr. Best Kept Secret, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, like the comment, oh, sorry, like the video, and also let me know what you're liking in the comment section down below. And if you're new to my channel, thank you very much for checking my video. Hopefully you subscribe and see all my new, new and future content. All right, so this has been Mr. Best Kept Secret, and I'm out, YouTube. See ya.